right, this is Roderick Carter for the WebScriptStore.com and MySamBroadcasterSetup.com. This is my um, quick video on Sam Broadcaster. This is what I've been using for the past six, maybe seven years. Um, I really, really enjoy the program. I really like the program. It can do a lot of things. Um, things that... Um, it allows you to be creative, I guess I should say that. Um, there is a learning curve with this, though. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of videos on YouTube um, that show you how to operate this. I offer a class that has detailed information on how to use it, the ins and outs. And I kind of help you get up and running very, very quickly. I've gotten a lot of praise for that. But what I wanted to show you is what it looks like. Uh, you've probably seen it on other screenshots. Now I'm currently remoted into my radio station, um, which is actually across the hall um, in the radio room. I'm in the studio, but you have like three different desktops. You got a desktop A, desktop B, and a desktop C, and you can put whatever you want on those desktops. Okay, the things that you want are located here under Window. If it's checked, that means it's already being displayed. And um, from this list of things, you can put certain things on a desktop. Now, I like to have uh, on my desktop A, I got my main players, I got my FTP log, my voice effects so that I can talk to my people, my voice tracking so I can make a quick drop. And sometimes when I'm talking to people, I use sound effects to play a music bed instead of a sound effects. Uh, and then I like to have my cue and my history so that if I am talking to the crowd, I can tell them what is coming up and what just played. So as you can see, there's uh, I've got about 12 listeners. Uh, I had a peak of 44. That means I'm, some, at some point in time during the day or this week, I have 44 people on all at one time. Now you may have thousands of listeners in a in the course of a day, but because people come in, they listen while they work, they come out. Some people listen while they're in the car, they come out. Uh, so you got people coming in and out of the stream all day long. Uh, on my desktop B, I like to keep my playlist. Um, if you do my my course, I'm going to show you how to set this up. This is where I spend ninety percent of my time. Because once everything is programmed and everything is uh, set up the way that I teach in my course, um, you basically, unless you got a major change or something, you know, you're just coming over here. If you got new music, you're going to add that new music into whatever category it belongs into. It's going to pick up automatically. It's going to play automatically when it's supposed to. Uh, if you got a new station ID, um, you're just going to add those in. So I teach you how to set your Sam Broadcaster up to run very efficiently and to do the things that you needed to do when you promos. So this is where I spend most of my time. This is what's on my desktop B. I have my encoders. Um, I have my statistic relays, my event logs. And then on my desktop C is where I have my auxiliary players, my FTP log, my requests, my history and my power scripts as you see I have 11 power scripts uh, loaded in these power scripts are special things that uh, allow you to do very special things uh, with your station all in all Sam Broadcaster to me is one of the best internet online and and live you can use this for a live AM or live FM radio station um, it's just one of the best there now there are some other ones out there there's radio boss um radio dj with radio dj is free this is not free sam broadcaster does have a nice price tag but it's worth it um and then there's some corporate um, software um that most radio stations are probably using most of your mainstream radio stations but if you want to get into your having your own radio station online sam broadcaster is the way to go and if you need help with it of course you can sign up over at my sam broadcaster setup.com and and i'll show you how to get that puppy up and running all right